Breaking news. 2023. 2,500 clergies offer special prayers in Kano, that's Ganduje State, for Tinubu. 2,500. Not be smart thing they do so. I'm telling you. What we are going to see in 20. Hmm. Do you know this man is investing? Hmm. After they've prayed prayers, there will be brown envelope to shake their hands to say thank you as our customs and traditions are in Nigeria. And what is that being called? Those things are called what? When you sow a seed. When you plant, you go to the farm and you plant. And what are you expecting? A harvest. If you think, okay, any of them that are investing heavily into their presidential ambition will do something worthwhile for Nigeria. <laughs> My dear, think again oh, and continue to dream because you are in the, in the other land. You are not in this land. When you wake up from the dream, then we'll tell you the, the result of what you dreamt. We'll not tell you the, what the meaning. You know, when people have a dream, they'll not say, oh, please, what's the meaning of this dream? I don't get it. You will get the meaning. After people have collected things like what we call bribe, and all things to make them, you know, get a particular position. At the end of the day, <laughs> hey, they all will be revealed. Oh. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. 2023 presidency, 2,500 clergies offer special prayers in Kano for Tinubu alone. <laughs> Over 2,500 Clergies assembled on Saturday to offer special prayers for Achiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu's presidential ambition ahead of the 2023 general elections in the country. Special prayers was organized by the managing director of Federal Housing Authority, Abduradmin Jubrim Kafo. The prayer section was conducted in his hometown in Kafa village in Bibija Lake local government area in Kano around 11.30 a.m. The event was also attended by politicians from across the country and the states. The prayer was led by Chief Imam of Kafin who recited, who recited the Holy Quran. After the prayer session, the former House of Representatives member who represented Bibija Federal Constituency gave scholarship grant to 2,500 girl, girls in the area. He also empowered another 2,500 youths who, on, who will be undergoing training in various skills under his empowerment program. Speaking at the Empowerment Program, Kafi said the special prayers was conducted for peace and stability in the country and for Tinubu. He said this special prayer was organized for the success of presidential ambition of President Muhammad, who will succeed President Muhammad Buhari as Shuwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu in the forthcoming general election, as well as peace and stability in the country. According to him, prayers was conducted by other 2,500 2, women drawn across the Kanu state. He explained that over 2,500 youth have been trained in various skills we are empowered. Today, a total number of 2,500 youth received set of capital and scholarship grants over 2,500 girls selected from across 44 local government area in Kano were also given scholarship. Each of the benefactors received financial support ranging from 100,000 downwards. So this is what happened and uh, this is part of Tunubu's investment in the whole game plan. When I tell you that somebody is saying a seed, know that the person will eventually reap a harvest. When you go to the farm and you plant seeds, what happens? You wait patiently. The rainy season will come, which is campaign, you know, and all that. And the dry season will come and eventually it will be the, the, it will be the result. And the result will be announced and you will get to know what exactly has just happened. President Muhammad Buhari, like you and I can see, you know, his tenor is rounding up next year. <laughs> it's no longer 2023, it's next year. April, exactly, he will have to hand over whether he likes it or not. He will have to leave the position. Now, 
religious leaders in Kano, you know that uh, Tin, uh, Atiwadu Ahmed Bola Tinubu and the person of Ganduje are best of friends. You know, these are the kind of people Tinubu roll with. You know, because you remember the Billy Van, I remember the dollar collecting. These are the people that want to rule Nigeria. And they are sowing seed now. So I don't know what you think Nigeria will become and what difference will be made. Okay, you know, Tinubu has started meeting some northern elders already. Uh, he has not officially announced it, but he started meeting northern elders here and there to have discussions with them. These discussions are already ongoing. Ganduje is weak, we're working for him in the north, although some northern governors will prefer uh, the vice president, but we're talking about Tinubu now. And uh, Tinubu, they're already getting religious leaders to begin to pray for Tinubu. And you hear the number of people you know, who have been given money from 100,000, you know, uh, amounts, uh, scholarship, uh, capital for starting businesses and what have you. So these things are already in place and the, 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 the ball has been set rolling. I know the thing about the North, they are already associating themselves with who they think will win. I said who they think will win, I did not say we win, or who they think will win, so that when the time comes, they will have a say and a stake. And that is where the control continues. So that even if the person has good intention, for instance, they would have said, we supported you. You can't betray us. But that's what Buhari is doing now, even after the support. And uh, it's not making any much difference. Anyway, my wonderful people, this is what is going on. We see Ganduje, we see every one of them rising up. And uh, we see how they are strategizing and putting things in place for Ashiwajua made Bola Tinubu to become Nigerians' president. Nigerians, they may be strategizing, they may be putting things in place, but who do you want? Because we, may, we, must, we must have a choice in the whole of this matter. We must be able to choose. We can't uh, say, it's not my business, I don't have a hand, and you just, you can't do that. You and I can't do that. No, we can't. We can't do that. So these are some of the things that are going on now. If we don't rise up to the occasion, we keep quiet and we say all is fine, we may be surprised at what may come out of this. Okay? So these are some of the things that are going on right now. These are some of the things that are happening. And Nigerians are watching. 2023 is around the corner. Like we told you a few days ago, that before you say Jack Robinson, 2022 has begun already. You know, but Nigerians, we must be intentional. Who do we want if there is an election in 2022, uh, 2023? Who do we want to occupy that position? See what happened when we allowed Buhari to get there. Look at what is going on. Do we want a repeat of this? Leave us a comment. God bless. Bye for now.